Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today let's solve a very good question from the weekly contest, number of restricted path from first to last note. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll be constantly solving good and classic legal question with clear explanation, animation, and visualization. Now let's look at the question. In this question, there's an undirected weighted graph and we are given a positive integer n, which denotes that the graph has n nodes labeled from 1 to n, and an array edges where each edge, uh, edge i, is uh, ui, vi, and weight i. And it denotes that there is an edge between the node ui and vi, and its weight is equal to weight i. And here we define a path from node start to node n is a sequence of nodes from z0 to zk, such that uh, z0 is start and zk is end, and there's an edge between every adjacent node. And the distance of a path is the sum of the weights on the edges of the path. And we use distance to last node x denotes the shortest distance. Uh, notice that it has to be the shortest of a path between node n and node node x. And we say a restricted path has to satisfy that distance to last node zi has to be bigger than distance to last node zi plus 1. And we have to return the number of restricted paths starting from node 1 to node n, which is the first and last node in the graph. The question statement is not very clear and a bit of confusing. So let's take a closer look of example 1. In example 1, we have 5 nodes, and the black number in the circle is the node number, and the number on the edge is the edge weight, and the blue number in the circle is the shortest uh, weighted distance from this node to the last node. So for, for example, uh, for node 1, the shortest distance from node 1 to uh, node 5, which is the last node, is 4, which is this path. And then the shortest distance from node 4 to node 5 is uh, 6, which is this route, 2 plus 3 plus 1. And the first restricted path in this example is path 1 to 5. And why this is a restricted path? That is because the distance from node 1 to node 5 is 4, is bigger than the distance from node 2 to node 5, which is 2. And the other restricted path is uh, path 1, 2, 3, 5. And the distance respectively is 4, 2, 1, and 0. And they are in monotonic uh, decreasing order. And the last restricted path is path 1, 3, 5 and the distance is 4, 1, and 0. So for this example, there are three uh, restricted paths in total. To solve this question, there's a two-step approach. The first step is we have to find the shortest path from uh, every node, node i, to the last node, node n, in the graph. And we can use the Dijkstra algorithm to find the shortest path in undirected weighted graph. And next step is to use a DFS depth first search with memoization to find the restricted path, the total number of restricted paths with the constraint. Now let's look at the code. Okay, the first part of the code is to build a graph based on the input edges. And here we will use a hash map adjacency list to denote the graph. And next, we will create a Dijkstra function, which will generate a distance array based on the Dijkstra algorithm. And the distance array represents the shortest distance from each node to the last node. And lastly, is a DFX function. And the DFX function will return an integer, which is a number of restricted paths. 
And the base condition of the DFS function is if the input start is equal to n, the last node, then we will return 1. It means that we have found a path to reach to the, the last node. And in the DFS function, we will iterate through every neighbor of start in a graph. And once we found that distance start is bigger than distance uh, neighbor, then it means that it would be possible to find a restricted path. And then we will DFS into the subproblem and return a rest at the end. Now let's see the code in action. For example one, with the given input edges, we can generate the graph hash map like this. And in the hash map, the key is a label of each node, each vertex in the graph. And then the value is the adjacency list. And in the list, each item is a tuple. And the first item is a tuple is the weight of that edge. And then the second item is uh, its neighbor of that node. So for node 1, it has neighbors uh, 2, 3, and 4. And your weight of the edges is 3, 3, and 2. And with this uh, graph hash map, we can generate the distance array with the Dijkstra algorithm. And the distance array is uh, 42160. It means that the shortest distance from node 1 to node 5 is 4. And the shortest distance from node 2 to node 5 is 2, etc. And once we have the graph hash map and distance, we can start to run uh, the DFS function. So we will start from DFS1, which is the first node in the graph. And then we will iterate through uh, every neighbor of node 1. So for its uh, first neighbor, node 2, we found that the distance, the shortest distance from node 1 is 4, which is bigger than the shortest distance of node 2. So it means that this can be a possible restricted path. So we will DFS into the subproblem. And remember that the base condition of DFS is if start is equal to the next node n, then we will return 1. So DFS at the end will give us the number of total restricted path. So following this process, we can find uh, these three restricted path. Path uh, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 1, 3, 5. So the output for this example is 3. And this will conclude the algorithm. Finally, let's review. So the intuition to solve this question uh, is a two-step uh, process. The first step is to uh, find the shortest path from every node, node i, to the last node, node n, in the graph. And this can be accomplished by Dijkstra algorithm. And the second step is to use a DFS with memoization to find every restric restricted path in a graph. And the time complexity of this approach is from the Dijkstra algorithm, which is big of m times log n. And space complexity is big of m plus n to build the graph a hash map. And that will be all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.